In the summer of 2012, SpaceX began laying the foundation to expand their rocket launching activities outside the state of Florida, as well as plans to rapidly upscale their launch schedule. Therefore, the prospect of an additional launch site was not an option, it was a necessity. They set their sights on the small village of Boca Chica in Texas, which raised plenty of questions. Why would SpaceX choose such a poor and desolate area to build their revolutionary spaceport? And why select such a backward town that lacked basic infrastructure and a skilled workforce? Well, it turns out that this quiet little town has a lot more to offer SpaceX than what meets the eye. And that's what we'll be discussing in this video. Number 1. Ability to Manufacture Rockets at the Launch Site SpaceX designed their iconic Falcon 9 rocket so that it could easily be transported via the U.S. interstate. This is the main reason why the Falcon 9 has a diameter of 12 feet, because U.S. freeway lanes are 12 feet wide. The company currently develops all its rocket parts in-house at the main headquarters in Hawthorne, California. After all the parts are tested for quality assurance, they are then transported to launch facilities separately. Currently, SpaceX has three launch facilities for the Falcon 9 rocket. These are the Kennedy Space Center, the Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex, and the Vandenberg Base Space Launch Site. Once all the rocket parts are transported to the launch sites, they are assembled prior to the launch. However, this transport option poses a major problem for the company's main objective. You see, the ultimate goal for SpaceX is not to continuously launch the Falcon 9 rocket to deliver satellite payloads, it wants to create the first ever interstellar transport system to Mars. As we speak, SpaceX is working on its maiden Starship rocket, whose design will be geared towards meeting their main objective. Unfortunately, the Starship has a diameter of 30 feet, so there's no way it can be transported from its main headquarters to any launch site. So, the best alternative? Well, that would be building the Starship rockets near the launch facility, of course, and that's why the company set its sights on Boca Chica. Otherwise, transportation of rockets would be a massive cost burden. For example, a single Falcon 9 launch costs the company about $60 million and roughly $40 million when reused. Elon Musk is hopefully targeting about $5 million per launch for the Starship. Any extra transportation cost would be too much for the company to bear, and therefore the production site must be near the launch site. Number 2. Proximity to the Shoreline According to Elon Musk, if the company plans to have frequent flights from Earth to Mars in the future, then their launching site must be at least 18 miles from the shore. While occasional flights from land are okay, especially if you're dealing with a relatively smaller rocket like the Falcon 9, large rockets like the Starship require large swaths of land to minimize the noise disturbances that could potentially affect neighboring cities and towns. The United States has also put in place strict policies when it comes to rocket launches over land. In fact, the FAA rarely allows a rocket launch over land, unlike in Russia or China where they do. That's why you've probably seen dozens of reports from China about empty boosters crashing on private property and causing serious damages. So if we're talking about California, then there's no way that the FAA will allow SpaceX to launch rockets. Except perhaps for polar and sun-synchronous orbit launches, which are less dangerous and impactful. The company then set its eyes on Florida's east coastline, but the problem was that the coastline was heavily populated. It was practically impossible for the company to purchase large tracts of land to construct their rocket factory. So, Florida was eliminated from the equation. Another critical factor was the proximity to the equator. A rocket that is closer to the equator gets more boost during launch. Georgia and Virginia lack available open land near the shoreline and were further away from the equator. But Boca Chica in Texas ticked all these boxes. And so the company set out to the region to begin construction. Number 3. A tax incentive was offered by the state of Texas. Long before 2021, Elon Musk had wanted to move out of California because of its incredibly high taxes. And unlike California, Texas does not have a state income tax. Looking to capitalize on the potential growth of the Boca Chica area, the state of Texas even offered SpaceX a $15 million incentive to build its spaceport in the region. It's also important to note that SpaceX does not own any of the three launching facilities from which it carries out its launches. They currently have lease agreements and are paying millions of dollars monthly to the U.S. government. So owning their very own launch site will save the company millions of dollars in rent. That's why as early as 2012, the company began looking for a suitable location to build its rocket manufacturing and launching facility. Number 4. Texas has a capable workforce Texas isn't just an oil and gas state these days, and even though California is still dominating most of the investment metrics in research and development and from venture capital firms, Texas is gradually gaining ground. In fact, most California tech companies are relocating to Texas. Fort Worth's budding tech workforce also continues to be an attractive feature for tech companies to set up shop in the state. The region's employment of tech is the fifth largest in the country, amounting to 4.9% of the overall workforce. So SpaceX has a large pool of affordable talent to tap into. All they have to do is lure these young and talented workers from Fort Worth to Boca Chica with incentives of lucrative pay and added housing benefits. Number 5. Cheaper to buy land from largely uninhabited areas 
In December 2018, SpaceX launched the Starhopper rocket over Boca Chica. With local residents documenting every move, Starhopper took to the sky in a spectacular show, coming back down to land under its own propulsion. While this test marked a major achievement for SpaceX, it didn't come without its fair share of hiccups. During the test, residents had to remain outside to avoid getting injured by shattering windows caused by the heavy propulsion. After the launch, it was clear to SpaceX that there was no way it could scale up its launching operations and testing without putting the 50 residential homes of Boca Chica in danger. So SpaceX began the process of buying out the entire town, with residents receiving letters that contained offers from the company to purchase their houses for three times the market value. Although many of the residents accepted these lucrative offers, a few understandably declined because there was no way that they would give up their dream life to a company that could easily offer them so much more. With an average property value of around $80,000, SpaceX would have spent at least $8.5 million to complete the purchase of Boca Chica residential homes. As for the residents that were hardliners and refused the deals from SpaceX, they wanted assurance that they would be able to find a similar home in a different location, which was a guarantee that SpaceX could not provide. But SpaceX has another alternative. Here lies an opportunity for the county to create a thriving industry and provide high-paying jobs to one of the most economically depressed regions of the country. So while the county does not like to evict people from their homes, they may be forced to exercise the rule of eminent domain. Texas law states that private property may only be taken by a government or private entity that is authorized to do so, meaning that Cameron County could give SpaceX the mandate to seize the remaining properties. While Texas does not allow eminent domain for the benefit of private landowners, there is an alternative that would involve SpaceX giving the land over to the government for the greater good of the region. But this setup is not suitable for SpaceX, as they would risk losing control over their first privately owned spaceport to the United States government. That's why SpaceX opted to extend its deadline and increase offers for some of the remaining residents. Some residents were able to get their homes re-evaluated and get a better deal for their residential areas. Currently, there are only a few homes that remain unsold to SpaceX and the company is still negotiating with these residents. But the company will do everything in its power to purchase the remaining properties and claim the village as its own. In fact, SpaceX is so confident of the purchase that it recently hired hundreds of new workers to create a constant 24-hour production line. Hopefully, the company can finalize its dream of building its first ever spaceport, which will usher in the exciting future it is trying to create for everyone. So, don't forget to join us in these exciting times by subscribing to the channel and clicking on that notification bell to get more enriching content on SpaceX's journey to Mars.